Tsunami kid, grew up all over India, went and did my engineering and then directly went to do my MBA out of IIM Ahmedabad. Uh, from there, my first job was in consulting in the US and I had the benefit and advantage that for the first few years of my life, I was able to consult with firms in Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea and then in the US. So that was the start and then, uh, you know, also very early on, a couple of years into it, uh, Indian markets were opening up and one of my best friends used to be uh, with Kotak, uh, Kotak Securities as it was at that point of time uh, and they were seeing phenomenal growth and so I came back on a vacation and met with his boss uh, and we ended up having a long discussion and I ended up a month later moving back to India to join Kotak and it's been, if you could choose a decade to work in India, it would be 2002 to 2012. Uh, those are the 10 years that I worked in markets in India. Uh, and from there, then I started my own company, uh, ran it for a while, for about five years, sold my company. Then me and a few friends of mine from Kotak uh, started our own private equity firm, which is what we run today, investing in Indian consumer businesses. So that's a very quick capture of my career so far. So these sessions are basically an introduction you know, a lot of young people, when I went to college myself, I had no idea about markets. In fact, you know, the first company I went and worked in, I made a lot of money on stock options. And that's really how I first was introduced to markets. Uh, prior to that, I had no idea what markets were, what stocks were. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't even know what the Sensex was. Uh, and essentially, you know, when I started working, I realized how powerful markets were, especially as wealth creation tools. Uh, and how primary markets were to almost everything that we do in modern economies. Uh, and so this session is intended essentially to introduce everyone, no matter what your interest or field might be. It is to introduce you to markets, to the impact that markets have on everything that you do. So whether you are in the startup world today, or you want to go work in FMCG markets, or you want to work in operations, uh, essentially wherever you work, you will end up you know, being touched by markets as you become more and more senior. Uh, you'll end up essentially realizing the impact of markets on your life, your business, your work. And this session is basically, and you know, of course, a lot of you might choose to work in markets themselves, might choose to work in finance as careers, investment banking as careers, uh, even consulting as careers, because consulting also advises a lot of CEOs on moves to make for their own uh, companies and for their own company stock prices. Uh, and so essentially, it is essentially meant to introduce all of you to financial markets, stock markets, bond markets, uh, you know, financial markets which include money markets where companies borrow money uh, and the functioning of markets uh, in general. Uh, and of course, all of us who work in finance also, also earn uh, our living from these very markets. So it's a primer to markets and finance and finance careers. Uh, the last part of the sessions are also focused on you know, what it means like to work in prop trading firms, what it means like to work in mutual fund industry and other financial parts of the financial market. So all of that is really what we're looking to cover across these five sessions. So ideally people who either are, you know, just, just at the point where they're looking to enter their MBAs or, you know, doing their MBAs and want to kind of figure out what financial markets and jobs in financial markets mean. I think those people are really ideal because you know, a lot of people don't really understand what it means like to work in uh, investment banking. Uh, I think there's a session which was taken on that. A lot of people don't understand what it means like to work in markets. What do you do for a living? What do you do on an everyday basis? If you're a trader, if you're a research analyst, what does a research analyst job entail? What does a trader's job entail? And uh, you know, if you're kind of at the point where you're taking that decision, then you should take this course because it will basically be an input for you as you take that decision of where to focus on. It could even be someone who's currently doing their MBA because you know, at least even when I was doing my MBA, I had no idea what to expect out of a job in finance. Uh, so that's really the target audience. So yeah, I look forward to speaking to a bunch of you. Uh, I think the whole idea is to make the session interactive and not be a dead, uh, dull session. I look forward to uh, uh, you know interacting with a bunch of you guys. Uh, so the idea is to kind of learn by talking to each other and discussing things with each other. Of course, there's a theoretical part of finance which you've already done, uh, but over and above that, uh, you know, the practical aspects of finance uh, is what we'll be going through. And I look forward to speaking to all of you, you know, join up and sign up for the session. Uh, see you then.